Hey, welcome to this Afghanistan 11 gameplay video. If you love Afghanistan 11, or if you just want to find out what it's all about, then don't miss a minute of what's coming up. Well, hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to get into uh, some Afghanistan 11 now. I've been thinking about this. Uh, I'm anything but uh, expert at this. I played, for me, a lot of it uh, a few years ago when I first got it. And then, well, you know how it is when you have a Steam library that scrolls for, you know, ever. Uh, I, I got distracted and went somewhere else. Uh, but I understand that we're going to see a new DLC for this soon. And I thought, well, I ought to jump back in here and, and kind of get my head back in the game before that comes out. And so I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, I think we're going to do a skirmish uh, because the campaigns are deep. And uh, I usually have multiple victory conditions. And the whole idea here is to get a feel for the game and uh and and how it works rather than uh dealing with uh, a, a more complex uh, scenario which is i guess another way of saying is i'm feeling pretty simple right now and i want to do something kind of simple so i'm gonna go ahead and do that uh now i have a game going right now but we're just going to ignore that so let's take a look at this um 60 turns, mild weather. These are the default. Uh, I believe they're default. Yeah, I think these are the default settings. Um, as you do things, go to the right, it gets more difficult. I'm not sure. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm not sure what sandbox. I've never played with the sandbox mode. Uh, obviously, I say obviously. It's not obvious, but. 100 turns, regular weather, uh, a lot more mountains, uh, half the political points, which is the in-game money, and uh, starting hearts and minds at 40. That's, well, it's tough. Elections on, political events on, that's kind of a pain, but we're going to leave them that way. And political defeat on. So I don't know. All of that is, but that's fun. I can just, you know, reset. Hey, there it is. Reset the classic. Yeah, so if I change this and reset the classic, there it is. So now we've seen how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going. But before I do, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you'll always know when I upload another video. Share with your friends. You're bound to have friends. I mean, you come on, we're gamers. Everybody's got friends, right? And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Especially, this is one where I'm probably going to get. Uh, this is a tough game. Uh, it's you know, it's it's kind of like playing uh, Twilight Struggle. Uh, every turn you grit your teeth. There's always about ten things to do, and and you know enough stuff to do about half of them. So uh, it, it can be uh, it can be something of a bear. So we're going to pause it momentarily while I get in and get going, and then we're going to get started. Well, okay, here we are. Uh, skirmish 60 turns while it was the hunt for the leader of Al Qaeda that pushed the United States forces in Afghanistan. Conventional military tactics would not win the war for America. Focus instead was on winning the hearts and minds of the local population through providing security and infrastructure and persuading the locals to reject Taliban forces. So, terrain is mixed, turn count 60, weather mild, all the things that I said, it's all good. And a hint. Try to keep supply trucks loaded with supply in your FOBs to resupply an emergency. Yes, that's a very good idea. But they've changed the game a lot since I first started playing. And now FOBs can be overcrowded and you pay a political point price. Now, this is kind of important. Uh, opposing forces, the U.S. Army, uh, the Afghan National Army, the militia, and the Taliban, they'll each village will have a flag and uh, that'll tell us the political alignment of those villages 
So let's go ahead and start. All right, now this is the strategic map. Well, that's interesting. It's an interesting map. Um, you start off with your political liaison telling you who the president of Afghanistan is. So in social reform, he's aligned with the Taliban. So intel from villages is down 10%. Security uh, is, I guess, aligned with the U.S. So political point that you gain on enemy kills are up 75 that's good because we gotta we gotta get political points corruption political points are up 300 per turn love that that makes life easier more political points is more better we'll talk about that in a minute cool down period up a turn that sucks there's a lot of things that you do in here like airstrikes and stuff that have cool down periods and up a turn means we get to use them less so other tabs here civil affairs report tells us that uh Hearts and minds right now at 50, and these are all the things that affect it. And every turn we'll have a net change. Personnel, we've got uh, Afghan National Army Infantry training time is three. Um, there are no Afghans, uh, Afghan National Army in training now. We haven't gotten started. There we got no infantry. We've got no mechanized. Looks like we can have up to five of those. We can have up to three helicopters. We can have up to three uh, ANA artillery. You train those guys with uh, U.S. Special Forces. And then there are the handovers. You hand over uh, units. You, hand, you do handovers. Basically, you send U.S. units home. You send U.S. units home and the ANA takes over and you get political points. Logistics report, well, nothing's happening right now. Uh, there are five villages connected to the highway, which is this, and we'll look at that in a minute. That's kind of nice. Um, intelligence, as if I know anything about intelligence. Uh, nothing right now. We look at the political liaison, and here's our objective. End the game with a hearts and minds score of 50 or more u.s withdraws on turn 45 and we have 60 turns to complete your mission so basically we got 45 turns to play with all the toys that the u.s brings and, and then it's entirely up to the afghan national army so we've got to do a lot of training uh, uh, to get the uh, afghan national army up to speed then you can drop the moab which is a four thousand political point uh, hit. I, you know, I, that's something new. I don't think that was in the game to begin with. So you know, uh, uh, I'm not real sure what to make of that. Okay, let's take a quick look at the strategic map. This is our main base. We have a village relatively close by over here, well off the beaten path. It looks like a paved highway from the northwest to the south and across to the east. Uh, and a lot of these villages are connected to it, and that's nice. Having villages connected to the highway is good if you can uh, get to them, but they are a long ways off. So looking at this, just guessing, we're gonna do some early running this way to influence this village that one uh you know uh up in the mountains yeah we may fly up there but we're not gonna be trying to we're, 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 we can't get a road to it no matter what we do uh this one is a pain it's up on the hillside on the wrong side of a water obstacle you, know, you gotta build roads and bridges to get to it that one's going to be trouble these will be easier to get to, but notice these roads go up to the hills, which is scary because the uh, Taliban and militia are all up in those caves. This one's great. He's just really far away. <laughs> really far away. Same thing here and here. Great. Look, they're really close. To, no, this one and this one, I should say, are really great. Not so much here. And these are way the heck off. And we'll be helicoptering around. Anyway, talking too much. Let's uh, let's get in here and take a look now. You see a fire? That means we need to go talk. There's there's intelligence to be gathered. Just looking around, 
There are fires everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, so real quick, we've got 10,000 political points. What are those? All right. I'll... That's the money of the game. Everything you do costs political points. Um, and a lot of the things you do can gain you political points. So there's the tension, right? Every time I move something, it costs me political points. I mean, I take an infantry unit and step outside of the base. It costs political points. Um, so I need to minimize my political point expenditures and maximize my political point gains. The way you gain, you, you, uh, gain political points is, well, not the only way, but one of them is killing Taliban and militia and clearing uh, the roads and the areas around the villages uh, of IEDs and building roads to villages and building waterworks at the villages. And uh, this map is making me crazy. So, talking too much and playing too little. Let's uh, get in here. Uh, this is really rather, it's rather scary. Rather scary. These villages are only practically accept accessible by helicopter. Uh, we could go this way. It'll be a paying cross country, and that's a lot of road to build. Um, no, this is not a happy map. Uh, I guess we do what we have to do. Now, we start with nothing. We need to choose our reinforcements. So, this shows us we can build train up to three uh, ANA. MI-8s, uh, up to three ANA howitzers, and up to five ANA vehicles. But we start with U.S. forces. So we are going to spend some political points in a serious way. We've got to have the special forces to start training the ANA. We've got to have some U.S. infantry. We've got to have a buffalo to build things. We've got to have a mine resistant. MRAP. Let's see, does it tell me what that is? Uh, mine resistant armored something. All right, we've got to have one of them to carry our infantry around. Uh, we'll need supply trucks where it's all said and done. We're also going to need a howitzer at the base. So let's just stop with a 2,000 spent. We need to deploy the howitzer. Now, there it is in the area it covers 15 hexes is shown that's pretty good we can we can we can knock knock heads pretty good we also have airstrikes that cost 200 political points and a cool down four turns sucks we have emergency supply drops cool down in two turns that sucks it costs 200 and we can fly a drone reconnaissance mission for 200 and cool down in four turns you know i just thought i really need to did not buy, did not buy, did not buy a Husky, which is a mine removal vehicle. And it detects and diffuses IEDs. It's 100% IED resistant. If I didn't buy it, buy it. Now you can take a look at this one. This one is 50%. The Buffalo is 50% IED resistant. It can diffuse and detect IEDs. And the MRAP is 60%. Okay, and transport supply and infantry. Da 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 da. da right? Okay. So. We're at 7,500 uh, political points, and we need to get something going. I probably should buy another infantry and a helicopter. And I think that's what we'll do. Let's go back in there. Let's really burn some. That's a thousand, and then we'll need another infantry garrisoned units. We're going to have to build a forward operating base somewhere and going that way sucks. It's going to be down in the valley here somewhere, probably in this neighborhood and uh, to influence this village and to push toward this one. But right now we need to get in the air and go talking to people while 
set up to uh, to get everything else going. And a question I have, looking at this, question in my mind, is whether I should spend the 50. It is 50. I think it's 50 per hex. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Holy crap! It's five, six hundred. Uh, political points and several turns moving across here with a convoy that will have to be resupplied remotely and uh, that is just not easy um, but we do need to find out what's going on so let's I think we're just gonna we're end up going down the road let's load up an infantry unit let's begin training it takes five turns to train a howitzer let's begin training a howitzer and let's launch this black hawk it's loud Pretty. Um, now you got to be real careful you got to be very careful let's take a look at something here settings let's kick that music volume down sound effect volume down let's say make it quite quite so obnoxious um, right you got to be careful with your mouse it's very easy to click and they'll go there you know you want to you, know, you want to kind of you know <laughs> you really want to kind of keep your your finger off the left mouse button until you're ready to do something or you'll send people places you don't want to go now he's got 23 movement points left he's got four fuel he's got to get back to base before he runs out of fuel so let's go ahead and tell him to go drop that infantry right there and let's hope he doesn't get shot at by militia All right, we found out that there's an IED on the road down there. I am shocked. And that village is A and A. Mm, that's nice. Well, while we're here, we'll search for IEDs. And we didn't find anything. Because early in the game, I'm not surprised. Right click to deselect. Left click, click. Roger. Pick him up. Now he's got 10 points remaining, and he can do a little more flying to uh, to go other places. I'm going to deselect him and look around. I really don't want to go off that away. It's just nightmarish. Um, I can send him up here or down there. I think we'll send him. Another thing I want to be careful about doing, if you just tell it, you know, just do this. It's going to take the shortest route. It's going to fly over the mountains and, you know, likely get shot up by, uh, by, uh, well, at least it has a better chance to get, you know, running into guys hiding up in the hills. So we're going to head back Roger. directly toward the base and then we'll move to the next turn. Now, another thing that I've done that I like very much is. allow you to build convoys, but it just struck me. I think we're going to spend some money on some reconnaissance to get a feel for what things are looking like down here before we start heading down the road with the convoy. Ah, well, that was a... Well, I won't say it's a waste of political points, but it didn't find us anything to kill. Huh. Okay, so let's build a convoy. You used to not be able to do that, and it's very cool. Uh, so we're going to lead with an MRAP because if they bump into somebody on the road, they don't get blowed up quite so easily. Let's build a convoy. We're going to lead with the MRAP. The Husky detects and demines and, and, and diffuses within two hexes, I think. So we want him second in line, and then we got the Buffalo. We're done, and we've got a convoy that can now de-garrison and go. I don't know, I think, is there anything else I want to send down the road? Ah, you know what I didn't do? 
there. I didn't pick up the infantry. Mm. We need to have them along. Uh, so we got. Do I? I don't want. I don't have anything. I need to send supply trucks to. Although that would be nice over here. This could be a helicopter. We're going to be. Once I build my first ANA artillery, I'm going to start building MI8s, um, so we can get around. Uh, and we're going to want a Chinook before it's all said and done. But that's real expensive too. Uh, so let's send these guys down the road and begin. You know, and I just thought of something else I should do. Click, click. Let's de-garrison the buffalo only for the purpose of clicking on construct an FOB and see where I can build it. Okay, I can build all down in here. Deselect. And most of that's within range of which is kind of cool. So we might want to try to get our FOB in this vicinity and then start working our way up. You know, it's going to be a pain, but we're going to have to go after that village. So deselect, let's go back into here. Let's rebuild that convoy. And wrap, pick that up. Build a convoy. Husky next. Then the construction vehicle, the buffalo. And off we go. Copy that. Oh, uh, you know what? Well, um, I'll. Uh, we're gonna want. We're gonna want a special forces guy out here, and I should have. Should have bought him and sent him along. Um. Probably end up building another MRAP uh, anyway, and we'll send him down the road in that. I think. All right, we got anything else we can do? Nope, everybody's happy. We end the turn, and let's see what happens. All right, nothing of any consequence. If nobody popped up to try to kill us. We gained a little bit in the way of political points, and I think if we go out here, we can. Right, we spent 3,650. Logistics cost us 302. We gained 300 from political which is what this says so there you go there's net change basically our political points covered our logistics which was moving things around and we're gonna have to do better than that we're gonna have to kill things we're gonna have to kill kill things a lot so let's uh let's send him over here oof, 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 that's just not happy but it's early in the game, so I'm gonna take a chance. Copy that. He goes that away. Village uncooperative. Village uncooperative. But I gained hearts and minds, right? Let's come back here. Civil affairs. And it says villages on highway 0.5, village visits. I got 0.1, so net change is 0.6. Okay? All right, we're gonna search for IEDs. Searching for IEDs. Again, early in the game, but if we find them and blow them up, it makes the villagers happy. And it gains us political points. Copy that. All right, he's got three fuel remaining. I'm tempted to send him home, but no, we're gonna take a chance and jump over the mountain. Copy that. It's early. See, it costs 20. That costs 20 political points just moving that guy down the road. All right, once again, we click this guy and we say, where can we build that? Oh, all kinds of good places. And... All right. Now it's expensive to build the Ford operating base. We build it there. Oh, it'd be nice to find some IEDs, wouldn't it? Um... Click, click, uh, da 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 da. Two. All right, we're gonna move. Yeah, let's go, Mike. Oops, I meant to move the convoy forward. Again, watch Roger. what you're doing with this bloody 
mouse. It's 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 unforgiving. All right, we're going to go ahead and continue down the road. Sweep through the mines. There you go, plus 250, outstanding. And we're done. Now that costs some action points, I suspect. That's why we didn't go quite as far. But we picked up a little bit of, uh, and I didn't watch, but this should have, it should have affected somebody's, I do too many things, it should have affected somebody's hearts and minds. Take a look. Civil Affairs. Nope, doesn't suck. It apparently did not. Maybe it wasn't close enough to uh, to the villages. Okay. Now, I just said I'm going to need another another Special Forces guy. That's expensive. And I'm going to need something for him to ride down there in, which means I can either... I ain't going to send him in a supply truck. That's cheap, but I'm not going to do it. Uh... I'm going to need more MRAPs before it's all said and done. So we'll buy an MRAP and we'll buy another infantry to stay at the base for right now. And we will... This guy should have gone with that convoy. Wisdom is... Go with the convoy, but, I, you know, I blew it. Okay, we'll de-garrison him. I want him to come down here. And hopefully he doesn't bump in anybody and nobody's laid any mines. And he'll stand by there waiting for that base to be built. Boy, we are running. We're halfway through our political points and we got now we found one IED, two. Now one detected, one disarmed. That's it, one. These guys have uh, four fuel. They'll have three fuel remaining next, so we can still run down the road. We'll... These guys are A and A. Hmm. Well, we like them. We want them to be happy with us. We may we may take a chance and run up the road to see if we can clear mines and make them happy. So, what else have we got? That guy is he's already done all he can do. They can search for IDs. Searching for IDs. Okay. And them. All right, that's it. Let's end the turn. Confirm. Oh, it's just too quiet. Net change, 944. We picked up 300. We only spent 144. Well, okay. We still, it's still, uh, it's still not fun. All right, if I hit continue, this guy's got, well, he did, now that I've messed with him. Copy Hitting solid. continue would have sent him on his way. New intel received. ID uh, detected. Found an IED. Our hearts and minds are looking pretty good. We're at 51. That won't, believe me, it won't last. Searching for IEDs. Searching for IEDs. All right. Deselect, select. Let's pick him up. Copy solid. And that village does not have a fire. We've got two fuel remaining. Now I can either say click there and send him on his way, or I can click here and it will find its own route home. This is pretty easy. We'll just click there and send out. him back. All right, now, go ahead and build that FOB. And, 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 drop off. Oh, he doesn't want to play. Oh, uh, he doesn't like that he's in the way. All right, if he goes there. Will you do it now? There you go. All right, now you see this area? You get, with the FOB, it had a little bitty area that you could see things. Now, with the special forces there, you see all this. That's a good thing. Go figure, it's a good thing. We are really sucking wind on points. If we, he is hurting for fuel too. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and start trading an A&A. 
building a bridge costs 500 hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. but it's the only way up there shy of a helicopter and they will be happier if they have a road so build a bridge and looks like I can't build a road up there I guess that's a terrain thing yeah I can go there but I can't go up the hill okay at least the bridge we send our ANA infantry walking up there so we we've, we've accomplished that and uh, we got back in there and the MRAP I think needs to take a dash back to base. All right, we have three turns before we see the artillery, so there's no point in building a uh, a base for the. Uh, the build base extensions. You can build a an artillery pit. You can build a. a, a repair depot for vehicles and you can build a hospital uh, we're not going to spend any points doing that right now what we're going to do right now is decide whether we want to run up the road to one of these villages they have three fuel remaining so whichever way they go they're going to turn around and go back assuming they don't get into a fight um, let's run up this road well, we didn't find anything Let's get out of there and hope we don't get caught on the way out by militia. And that leaves us with those guys and I don't want to spend any political points stepping out Searching of base. For IDs. We'll just search there. And yeah, because these vehicles are different, they probably See, he's got a point remaining, but I bet you he doesn't. So the convoy stops because he's the slowest vehicle. And there you go. All right. Well, 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 well. Let's uh, end the turn. Boy, is it quiet. It'd be nice if you guys got nasty and started making me... You know, giving me reasons to earn my keep with uh, political points. All right. If we hit continue, that guy should fly home. And he should go the way I told him to go. And now I will tell him to continue back up the road. Copy, Solid. I hope he's got enough fuel to get home. I think he does. Um, those guys can search, but let's look around. The helicopter needs a turn to refuel then we can send him off to talk to another village. The ANA infantry will be trained up in three turns. So it's kind of quiet right now, and I'm not inclined to spend political points uh, willy nilly. But that got to refuel. Got to have, but we're not going anywhere with him anytime soon. Those guys can sleep. For IDs. And they could too, but who cares? There you go. All right, well, we have played four whole turns. It is, it is kind of a slow game, but we're at 30 minutes. I think I'm going to put a cut in it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing how this works, although you haven't seen much of the craziness. But we'll do more of that. Time's coming. It'll be. It'll happen. And I appreciate you watching. I'll see you again soon. Hey, thanks for watching. If you click on that picture of Very Young Waz, you'll be subscribed so you'll never miss another video. Then click on that bell notification button and please share and comment. See you again soon.